with such dynamic women. Thank you so much. I want us to remember that something that we all know, women play a pivotal role in the California economy. Women are decision makers, not just politically and economically, but they're also the decision makers in our families, as consumers, and as community members. As women, we are keenly aware of the pervasive culture that fails to value and protect women, a culture that lives in darkness and fear. But the time has come to change this culture. Yes. The time has come to acknowledge the struggles faced by women in the workplace and society. The time has come to change attitudes, to speak out, to come and demand accountability. The time has come to break the silence and bring transparency. Yes. The time must be given to victims, not to the perpetrators. The, pe the perpetrators must know that time's up. This is why I introduced AB 1870, the SHARE Act, the Stop Harassment and Reporting Extension Act, also known as the SHARE Act, will allow victims of harassment in both workplace and related to housing accommodations more time to bring their claims forward by extending the current one-year statute of limitations to three years. <laughs> The law will now protect the victims. Yeah. I've also introduced AB 1867 that will require that records of sexual harassment complaints be retained by employers for 10 years so that we can track these complaints and ensure that the repeat offenders cannot hide anymore. <laughs> the conversations of today and the change against the culture of sexual harassment are happening because of the bravery of those who stepped forward to say, we said enough. We're going to continue to move forward to ensure that the silence that has been broken never returns again. As Maya Angelou said, each time a woman stands up for herself without knowing it possibly, without claiming it, she stands for all women. Por todas las mujeres, adelante.